divine will operates the energies in mind. Divine will coupled with imagination operates the pictures in mind. That's how a kinetic, talented person moves an object from one point in space to another by moving it with their will in their imagination. Because the image of the cup, the bowl, the box is in mind. And images, pictures are moved in mind by your will. The subconscious has a constant of turning by electrical desire. But it doesn't have an order. It's your library. It's your closet. And in most of us, it, 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 it looks worse than the closet at home if you've got a chance to peep in there, which is part of the problem. The other part of the problem is, is the level of your desires. How high are they? If they're down here, you're going to get what down here draws. <laughs> okay. And that includes poverty. Raggedy cars, bad jobs, stupid bosses, and, and, and a loud mouth woman. <laughs> and a double headed husband. All of it, that's what comes from down here. In lower Egypt, this is upper Egypt. You work with the will center by focusing on that center. You don't need to know what it looks like. You simply bring your attention to the inside of your brain to affirm, I have divine will power, and I use it for good. Be sure and add G-O-O-D. This can get you out of order. Okay, when you get to that will center, stuff starts happening. Okay. I was sitting on a couch one afternoon. It was an idle mind, minding my own business. And the scene happened. It was on the corner of 105th and Euclid. It's a candy store. I'm standing on this corner, and this policeman, white cop, walks over to this brother's car and says, Get out the car. And, I mean, this is going on in my mind, in my mental stage. He yanks the door, but it pulls him out, starts to beat him with a stick. I run over and grab this policeman, picks him up, and I threw him through the candy window. So I heard the glass break. I saw the blood. I, you know, two, three weeks later, so on my way to Debs Hall on, U on the same street, but further down. I was with two white dudes and a white girl. Got out of the car, came to the other side of the car, and just as I did, the subversive squad got out of the car, walked over, says, okay, let us see your uh, uh, draft cards. I said, you're doing draft cards. This is 66. I just got out of the army. And I was standing, well, I was standing with, I was facing the window when he walked up. He was a little short guy. He walked up to me. So I reached in my pocket. I got my dad and I hand, took my wallet back. And I stood there. And I said, all would come back up. This was the police. You know, the, 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 the one he was about to do injustice to was me. You know, <laughs> this thing started up. And he could feel this anger. This dude was writing. He stopped. He went like this. <laughs> he knew something was up. <laughs> and, I mean, he was small enough for me to pick up. I've been lifting weights for you know, 18 months in the Army. He was small enough for me to pick up. And the impulse from the, my subconscious started as the pictures got up there. My arms did like this. And my spirit grabbed me and held me still. Uh, that's what saved both me and him. <laughs> but I had allowed this to happen. I had done what? I had made the psychological assumption that automatically 
provides the means to fulfill the dream desire. That is the law of mind. I was ignorant of it at that time. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Be very mindful of that. That's how you get what you want. And also, that's how you get what you don't want. If you're not going to master your mind, somebody and something will. If you're not going to be in charge of your life, somebody and something will. Keep that in mind. That those are the doorways to F-R-E-E-D-O-M. Our favorite word, is it not? <laughs> that, that's how you get free. Not by kicking this white boy in his behind, though Lord knows I would like to. But it won't get us free. I, I know the, the feeling of, of, of the injustice and the electricity of, of the injustice rang through this country when we saw that film of Rodney King. And, and I wanted to go out and do likewise. I honestly God did. It, it made all of us angry. But it won't get us free. It got our world in Los Angeles towed up. That's all we got was towed up. That's no good anymore. We can't keep on doing that. We are the builders of civilization. We need to get busy building. The first place you build, my brothers and sisters, is in your own mind. First, this is where your nation is. Your imagination. Your image nation. All of you are in my mind. All of you are in each other's mind. That's where love begins, respect begins, in your own mind. See the best of a person, not the worst. Compliment, not criticize. If you criticize, 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 you build an ability to criticize and not appreciate. That's the way the mind works. If you keep thinking, I ain't got, I can't afford, I'm poor, I'm broke, the subconscious gets busy spending your money, <laughs> you know, breaking your stuff, you know, losing your stuff. So you got to buy it again and again and again. I'm that way with pencil. Every time I look, if I can't find my darn pencil, my pen, buy a pen. Heaven is in your mind. The kingdom of heaven is your soul. The Father is on top of your head. You are the Son. The S-O-N and the S-U-N. 